Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and as you can see from the title of this video as well as the clothes I've got in the back, today I'm going to be doing a haul on pretty much everything I've bought since quarantine. For me, quarantine started around early March when I came back from college to join my family in California. I actually don't think I did a lot of online shopping so I've kind of lumped together everything in this video from clothes to books to shoes but I have been doing a lot of the thing where you put stuff in your cart but then you end up not buying it because you're like, I'll never get a chance to wear that anyway in the summer. <laughs> I still managed to get my hands on a couple of things. So let's just get started. So the first thing that I got is actually this shirt that I'm wearing right now. This is from Bershka. I'm actually really sad that the Bershka on Broadway in New York closed. I used to go there a lot just to like look at what clothes they have and I would shop from there in person. But I still really like this brand so I've just been like surfing their website a lot during quarantine. This shirt that I got from them, it's a tank top and it's a little bit cropped. I think Bershka has some really great quality clothes. It's just a very nice basic top. So the next thing I got from Bershka is this long sleeve shirt. It's also made of the same material as this. It's a really soft fabric and it has this type of cross design at the bottom. I think I really enjoy just like cropped shirts and long sleeves even though it's completely like illogical if you think about it because it's too hot to wear in the summer but then it's probably too cold to wear in the winter. I actually wanted to get this in black but I realized I have a lot of black clothing already so I'm trying to wear some lighter colors. <laughs> the next two things I got from Bershka are these two pants. They're basically the same but in two different colors. This black one I got in the beginning of quarantine I was still kind of hoping that we could go back to school for some reason and I was like I kind of need some basic black pants for like the springtime or like fall time but we ended up staying here so now I don't really wear this because it's summer but I think it'll still be pretty useful in the future so these jeans actually my sister was the one who bought them because she wanted a pair of these like basic blue jeans and then she asked me which size did I get for the other jeans so she can like size down because she's slimmer than me and then I told her that I got a 4 but then I checked and I actually got size 2 so she was like I'll get size 2 and then she got it and it's too big for her so now I have these blue jeans that are basically the exact same as the other ones but they're just in a different color so of course during this time in quarantine I want to keep on top of my fitness game so I thought I needed to to kind of upgrade my fitness clothes. So I've always seen Gymshark influencers on Instagram and I thought that maybe this is the time to just try out some of their products. I got two things. So the first thing is this pair of spandex shorts. They are gray and black color and they have the Gymshark logo of course. Actually when I first got them like the waistband was a little bit too loose so my mom helped me like take in a little bit at the back. I wouldn't say they're like the best quality spandex shorts because I'm sure like name brand like Nike or Adidas could do better but I think they work for my purposes. The next thing I got from Gymshark are these gray and pink leggings. I always wanted a pair of really good workout leggings and even though I haven't been wearing these too much since it's summer, they fit pretty well but I had to get them adjusted by my mom. So first I had to adjust the waist and I also had to adjust the length on the bottom. So pretty much I adjusted the whole thing. <laughs> I don't think in the future I'll buy from Gymshark again just because they also have a foreign transaction fee and then I've had to alter both of the products I bought for my workout purposes. I think they'll be fine, it's just not the best fit. But on the other hand, I was able to get some really nice Nike leggings. These are the Nike Pro leggings. They go down to your ankle and there's like a mesh on the bottom but I feel like so many people have these and they're actually really really good. Like they're very breathable and the fabric is thin but it's also like not see-through. I got these at ASOS so they were like a little bit discounted. I think they were $45 but yeah, this is actually a really good pair of leggings and I wear it to hike a lot. I also got from ASOS this long sleeve crop top. Um, this is just their brand I believe and it's just a black long sleeve top. I have one that's very similar but the neckline is just round instead of this like scoop type but that I left back in New York and I'm really sad so I guess this will have to replace it for now. So we're almost done with the clothes. I just have 
two more shorts to show. So this one is kind of like a faux leather shorts from Urban Outfitters. And yeah, it's pretty basic. I was just looking for some black shorts. I also tried to buy black shorts from Bershka, but they ended up too small. So my sister took them. They're honestly not very comfortable. Like your butt gets super hot when you're outside for a long time because these just like attract so much heat. I mean, at least they look pretty cool. <laughs> And the last clothing item I got was these denim shorts from Tilly's. I just really wanted a pair of denim shorts. I think they're pretty good for summer and they won't overheat your butt like the other ones. So I might be wearing these soon. Quarantine, I started dancing more and I started running more. I also got some new shoes. I can't really try out these shoes indoors because we live in an Asian household. And the first pair I got were these Nike Court Vision Low, I think that's what they're called. I really like them. I think they're kind of like the... What are they called? Oh, Air Forces, but from a distance, you probably can't tell. They're definitely cheaper than Air Forces, so that's a good thing. And yeah, I wear these a lot for dancing and just taking walks. And the second pair of shoes I bought during quarantine are these. They are by the brand Salcone, I think. The model is called Salcone 13. During quarantine, I have been running more. Cardio has taken up a big part of my life, so I definitely needed better running shoes. These are pretty dirty, as you can see, so I've been using them a lot. They're super comfortable, even though they're like a little bit pricey, but I definitely think they're worth it if you want to run long distance. And lastly, I've got some books to show. <laughs> In the early stages of quarantine, libraries began to close. For me, I really like to read physical books, so I decided to buy a couple from Amazon. The first book I got was This Becoming by Michelle Obama. <laughs> I'm sure everyone has probably heard of this. She also has a documentary on Netflix that I highly recommend. Michelle Obama's autobiography from her childhood to meeting Barack Obama to becoming the first lady. I just got so inspired and yeah, I love her. <laughs> The second book I got was Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. It took me quite a while to read, but it's totally worth it. It kind of follows four generations of a Korean and Japanese family, and it's told through like several points of view, so you never get bored, and just something that I also really recommend. <laughs> and lastly, I got this book, Circe by Madeline Miller. Actually, my sister picked this one out. This is one of her favorite books, as she mentioned in one of my previous videos. But yeah, she really likes this book, and she just wanted a hardcover version of it. It. I'm trying to get through it because it's actually pretty interesting. I'm not one to be like super into Greek mythology, but I think the way that she writes makes me interested and it makes me want to learn more. If you like Greek mythology or if you want to see classic stories through like a different lens, I would really recommend this. That was most of the things that I got during quarantine. Actually, the last thing I purchased, and this was actually more of a gift, but I thought I'd just include it. It is this camera that I'm filming on right now. I've been using it for some of my recent videos. This camera has been working very well for me. I'm really glad and I'm really grateful to have it. And I really like how it gives a lot of directions on the screen for beginners like me who are not very good at using video cameras. So yeah, that was pretty much everything I bought from quarantine from around March to now, which is almost August. Oh my god. I really enjoyed sharing all of these products with you. If any of these caught your eye or you want to recommend me some products, just leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to keep up with my content. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye!